One of the core principles of electronic timing systems for pigeon racing is that the time held on the club master system and therefore given to the fancier's own clock is received from an outside time source thus ensuring precision and accuracy. Along with all other ETS brands, Bricon has for many years obtained the time from a radio frequency signal which in the UK is transmitted from a mast in Cumbria by the National Physical Laboratories. This entails having an external radio clock connected to the master system which shows the exact time and date on its display although there is one system brand that instead uses an internal radio clock without a time display. Although accurate, there are occasional difficulties with this method of, of obtaining the time signal as local influences may affect the reception of the signal and periodically throughout the year the transmitter is turned off for routine maintenance. Bricon decided that it was vitally important that a second method be available for providing the time signal to the Bricon system and so it developed GPS synchronization whereby the time signal is obtained from the satellites of a global positioning system. This is the Bricon GPS receiver. As you can see it is a small simple device that picks up microwave signals from satellites in much the same way as a satnav. The GPS signal is always on therefore ensuring that clubs with this new system should never struggle to obtain a time signal. It is very easy to operate as I will show you. The GPS receiver is supplied with two cables which must be connected together. This then gives two GPS connectors available for use, one for the signal and the smaller round one for the power. With the Brickon Clubmaster connected to a printer, you plug the power connector of the GPS into the side of the master system. You can now power the Brickon Clubmaster, which will start up and after its initialization process, the main menu will show on its display. To synchronize the time within the master with the GPS time signal, you select menu option number 6, which is set time, and then press OK. The display will give you the option of 1, GPS synchronization, or 2, radio synchronization, and as you are using the GPS receiver, you select option number 1. The display on the master now instructs you to connect to the GPS at which point you connect to the signal connector into the back of the master. Now take a look at the GPS receiver itself. There will be a red light showing on its base. This is an indication that the receiver is receiving its own power. If the red light is flashing then not only is the GPS receiver powered but it is also obtaining the satellite time signal. If on the rare occasion that the red light is not flashing then the GPS signal has not yet been obtained and a short wait may be needed before proceeding. With the red light flashing the OK button can be pressed and the master will synchronize with the GPS time signal. Once received the exact time and date will appear on the master display as you can see. The work of the GPS receiver has now been completed and it must be disconnected and boxed away ready for the next time it is needed. The OK button must now be pressed to activate an official printout confirming that the synchronization process has been completed. The time on the Bricon Master is now precise and true and you are now in a position to continue. This time synchronization should be carried out at the beginning of any race basketing or clock readout. All clubs receiving a Bricon Club Master for the first time from now on will also be supplied with the GPS receiver as part of the system.